So today we're speedrunning through Kingdom Rush because I just can't stop playing tower defense games. It might be a problem, but I'm not going to worry about my problems and instead I'm going to play video games. And the map that we're going to speedrun for Kingdom Rush is the Citadel. This is one of my favorite maps to speedrun just because I think it has a really cool strategy. So yeah, we're just going to do it. Now, first of all, the hero that we're going to be using is Oni. Basically, this guy has two swords and is powerful. I mean, just look at him. And we have a pretty interesting formation we're going to set up before we start the round. We're going to use bomb towers and a couple of our wizard towers and also one arrow tower right there. But the first couple of rounds, they're not even going to get any action because what we're going to use to kill things is Oni and these guys, which are just going to go and do their work. First of all, we want Oni to get a lot of experience. As your hero fights more and more, he's going to get more experience and become more powerful. So it's just important to do. So we're going to keep sending Oni to different places, get him to deal with different enemy units. And we're also going to send these guys as well. They're just going to work together, do all their things. He can use like that blade attack where he just spawns blades out of the ground. It's pretty brutal. And because this is a speed run, we're going to want to start the new rounds early, but we don't want to start them too early because I mean, we don't want to lose the run. That would not be very fun. So like right here, we're just going to let Oni attack for a bit until we send out the next round. That seems like a pretty good amount. We're going to start it right there. The thing that I like about this game is it's more focused on strategy than it is just spawning a bunch of towers. Because first of all, you can't just spawn a bunch of towers. You only have specific areas in which you can put towers and you get much less money for actually defeating towers. So there's a lot of strategy that goes into just using the right tower, making sure you don't use something that's kind of useless. Like our bomb towers, they're useless against these flying guys, but the flying guys aren't too hard to deal with. We can kind of just send out units and they get like one shot. So I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm going to send the next unit of enemies before they're done. Like who really cares about them? They aren't really that hard. But yeah, this game's basically always accounting for that strategy, making sure you have the right towers, upgrading them to a certain extent and also sending out the towers when you need to. Because while I do want to go fast, for this speedrun to count, you do have to get three stars, which I believe that means only at maximum a couple of enemies can get through. But some of these enemies are already trying to walk through. I mean, at least we have these knights that can deal with them, so they're not going to get very far, to be honest. But it is something that is always on my mind, just trying to make sure that I don't lose the run. And I say it makes for a really interesting speedrun dynamic because you have to deal with all these different factors. And now it seems like we're going to have a boss unit. I'm not exactly sure what this is going to be. Oh, never mind. They're just more bats. Yeah, these guys, um... <laughs> Not really the hardest things in the world. I'm just going to send Oni to prepare for the next one and kind of just wait. We'll send out another one of these units and they can do their thing as well. And I'm also going to prepare a little bit more. So we're going to set out some of these barracks and those make our own soldiers, which we can put on the battlefield and the soldiers will stall other enemies. So just make sure that they can't completely walk through us. And then of course we want more bomb towers because I mean, bomb towers are always a good idea. They do a lot of damage. Yeah, we're in a pretty good spot. We're already on wave 10 in four minutes. So this is actually a pretty good speed run so far. I just have to make sure that I keep not making mistakes, making sure that I'm constantly upgrading my different towers. I mean, one of my biggest problems is when I'm commentating, making a video, I sometimes forget about the game. I just get too lost in trying to explain what I'm trying to do, and that's not always the greatest recipe for success. But I want a good run, so I'm gonna very much concentrate on this and, yeah, just try to make it the best I can. It's nice when they just come out of one area because I can leave all of my units right here. Oni can just do all his work. He doesn't even have to move. And we can use a fireball right there as well. It just kills a bunch of them. I don't know how the fireball doesn't affect us too, but we're just not gonna talk about that. And we can start upgrading a couple more wizard towers send out the next wave. I'm not exactly sure what this next wave is going to be. I'm kind of hoping for more bats, but it doesn't look like, okay, this actually looks like a kind of hard wave, but we can send out more of these guys that we have. It really is nice that the game just gives you units and meteors you can send out at any time because otherwise this game would be a lot more difficult. Oh, and here comes a big wave. Now we have these guys, these marauders, marauders, marauders. Okay. People are going to flame me in the comments, aren't they? We have whatever those are called. I'm not going to go into any more detail. We killed them. They aren't really the hardest enemies in the world especially with the setup we have right now. Like seriously, we're just kind of overpowered and we're going to be more overpowered when I upgrade my wizard towers to make them arcade wizards. And we are in a very good situation now. They're going to send out more of these ogres. They're going to try to do a good amount of work, but yeah, we have these wizard towers. They're kind of overpowered. The hard part about the late game of the speedrun is just deciding what I should upgrade because I'm pretty sure at this point in the speedrun, we are going to win it, but it's like, what is going to make it go faster? And I think at this point, that would be making more arcane wizards. Arcane wizards just do so much damage as you see. They're just disintegrating these poor 
more bats. I kind of feel bad sometimes of the things I do to these creatures, but then I remember that they're trying to attack my castle or something. Actually, I don't really know the story of this game. There's probably some pretty deep lore in this game. It goes down to like thousands of years ago. You know, the monsters tried to attack us, but why worry about lore when you can worry about murder? But we are on wave 16 out of 17. There's only one more wave left, and I think I'm going to send it out a little bit early, but I don't want to do it too early. Just think, you know what? I'm going to do it. I want to get this sub 10. I don't know if we can, but I do think it's possible. So please just send out the next wave and let's finish this out. And for the last wave, we have this guy. He's a gigantic boss. And what he does is he can send other units out of his hand and spawn them across the map. So that does present a couple of problems, especially because those guys, hello? Guys, come on, do not let them get past. Okay, this is could be very bad. We still will get three stars, but as you see, we have 18 lives. We lost two lives right there, which was something I really did not want to happen. I didn't think they would just get through all my units. This is a little bit scary. If I lose one more life, I'm pretty sure this speedrun won't be valid anymore. Also, Oni, please attack the guy. He's right by him, but he's not attacking. Sometimes that's the problem with this game. Our units just don't attack the boss who's standing right there. But right now, I really need to focus up on just not losing any more lives as well. Oh, and Oni died. I didn't even notice. He'll come back to life later, I'm sure. He'll be okay. But this boss just has like a gigantic amount of health, almost an unfair amount. And he's not afraid to show, but we have Oni back. He finally came back after his nap and he can start attacking the dude again. We did miss the sub 10, but still, this is a good run. I'm gonna be happy with it. We just gotta kill this guy as fast as possible. I wish there was more stuff I could upgrade, but I mean, I've done most of the upgrading I can right now he just has to die he's in a pretty good position where all of his health is just disintegrating and that is going to be it for him now we just have to kill off the rest of the unit oh never mind we don't even have to do that hooray we won well i'll take it and now if we look on speedrun.com we will see that we now have fourth place and honestly i'm pretty happy with that especially because i don't have all the upgrades unlocked in this game to unlock upgrades you have to complete a lot of different missions and if i wanted to do it it would have probably taken me like 10 hours so the only upgrades i could get were this which did make me go a little bit slower but overall i'm pretty happy with the time but i'd like to thank you all for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like on it it really helps me with the youtube algorithm and i'd really appreciate it also subscribe to the channel we are getting really close to a million subscribers and i would love to hit it soon so if you have been enjoying the videos lately if you enjoyed this one check out my other ones and maybe subscribe i'd really appreciate it but enough shilling thank you all for watching i'll catch you next time